hey, where are you gonna get your next machinist from? Hi everyone, I'm Penny Brown for the MFG Advocate on IMTS-TV. Educating future manufacturing professionals is a really important goal for our industry right now, and today we're talking with Lou Vendrell of Lincoln Tech, who started out as one of Lincoln Tech's students and today is one of their instructors. How are you today, Lou? Good, how are you? I'm great. So, you know, you really had a very interesting career story. Why don't you kind of give us an overview of what got you involved in a technical education and how you became an instructor today? Sure. Uh, I had a, a friend who came to Lincoln Tech, and I saw him uh, be successful. He, he bought himself a car, had a nice house, and I saw his success, and I really wanted to work with my hands. Uh, at the time, uh, college was not for me, uh, and so I wanted to work, do something with my hands. Went to Lincoln Tech and uh, learned the trade. Uh, after I graduated from the trade, worked in the industry for about five years, uh, which was a really successful career. One day I was at the Lincoln Tech um, advisory board meeting and one of the instructors there said, hey, you ever thought about teaching? And uh, I said, no, I never thought about it. He says, why don't you give it a shot? So I taught for about 30 minutes just to give a, 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 an area of, of uh, particular we talked about was um, uh, measurement. And um, uh, at, at the end they said, well, look, you did a great job. You, you know, why don't you come teach for us? We'll teach you, we'll, we'll get you groomed for that. And, uh, I said, okay, I liked it, I enjoyed it, so I, I became an instructor, did that for about four years, uh, then I got promoted to the program supervisor, uh, then I got promoted to the corporate office, uh, where now I oversee uh, about um, 8,000 students, uh, 17 different programs from automotive to machining to welding to heating and air conditioning. Now what do you find most rewarding about connecting with students? Uh, when I connect with the students, uh, what I find rewarding is when their eyes uh, light up. When they just, when you, when you were able to teach them a concept that was difficult, and you taught them, in a, you did an approach that was really difficult to explain. But at that moment, their eyes light up and they got, they got the concept. And at that point, I know that I'm instilling passion in them, and they know that. Uh, uh, going into the industry that they're going to have that same passion and, and that's what's rewarding for me. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to attracting young students to this kind of career in education, I mean what sort of message is really resonating with them right now? Uh, well, you know, a lot of, a lot of students uh, today, today's uh, type student, a, a lot of the students that want to do hands-on. Some students are not cut out for college uh, and I'm not saying that college is a bad thing, college is a great thing. But you don't necessarily have to go to college to have a successful career and make a lot of money. And I think that w one of the approaches we do is we, we show these students that, look, you can get a great career that's going to be hands-on, that's going to, uh, something you're going to enjoy to do every day of your life and make great money. And uh, so for us, it's, just, it's all about the hands-on and, and advocating for that, that you can do something every day that you would love to do. Give us kind of an overview of Lincoln Tech. How many campuses do you have and what sort of programs are you teaching? Uh, we have about 30 campuses in 15 states. Uh, we teach from automotive is our, is our largest type program, uh, but we have allied health programs, we have business, we have IT, um, as well as uh, the skilled trades, welding, CNC machining, uh, heating and air conditioning, electrician programs, all the trades, the trades that build America. I understand that you typically kind of locate where there's a local demand for the job market. How do you go about finding those needs? So what we do is we, uh, when we're evaluating an area where we want to have a school set up or a new program, we reach out to the, to the community and we engage the employers. And uh, we bring in employers, we bring in uh, industry experts, we bring in uh, community uh, leaders. And we, we say, well, you know, what's the need here? You know, uh, we look at statistics. Uh, we look at data in that industry. Uh, what, what's the skill gap? And once we identify that there's a skill gap, that there's a need in that particular region, uh, we then move forward with development of curriculum, with investment in equipment, and uh, starting a new program. Where are you primarily located? 
we're primarily located in the Northeast. Uh, however, we have schools as far as uh, Denver, Colorado, uh, all the way down to Texas. But our primary area is in the, the Northeast. Give us kind of an overview of a typical program. Um, you know, what would a student learn and encounter if they were to enroll in one of your programs? So a uh, typical encounter, a uh, student signs up, um, you know, day one we introduce the industry to that student and tell them this is what the industry you're getting into. These are all the great things about the industry. This is what you should expect. Uh, then after the student is, uh, finishes their first introductory class, in that class we talk about a lot of safety and get them really familiar with terminology of, of the industry that they're in. Uh, then we, we go into hands-on, you know, our, our thing is learn by doing. And, uh, we start bringing in uh, all the equipment that they're going to be utilizing in the field. Uh, we partner with uh, equipment that those students will see. For instance, uh, we have a great relationship with Haas. We have a great relationship with Herco. Um, and we introduce the actual equipment that the student is going to work on in the industry. They work on those machines and get familiar with those machines. I understand you also tend to run the school very much like an actual work environment. Yeah, we do. Uh, uh, one of our classes is called Workplace Simulation. And uh, what the schools do, they, some, in some of the situations, they have students punch in uh, on the clock, punch out on the clock. Uh, students wear uniforms. Um, the instructor treats them as a real work environment. When they come in late, they get a lecture. Um, they get a report card at the end and it says how many tardies you have, how many early leaves you have. Uh, and we really instill that, you know, in the real world, that's not going to fly. That's not acceptable. And um, so we try to teach that professionalism early on. We have a program called Career Edge, which in, in encompasses all of those uh, soft skills and you know being on time, being professional, all of those things that you need to be successful in the real world. That sounds really good, Lou. Thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Thank you for having me. This has been Penny Brown for the MFG Advocate on IMTS-TV.